What's up, superstars? Back at it again with another vlog. Been a minute since I reached out. Got a lot going on out here. I'm still working, blessed to be still working. Fortunately for me, uh, my job is considered essential right now, but everywhere is shutting down. DC, Maryland, Virginia, all shut down. Only essential jobs, so most stuff closed. But uh, just getting off work. So let me uh, just reach out real quick with a quick video, just to touch base to see how everybody's doing, you know prayers out to everybody you know stay safe you know take this seriously because it's something going on and uh seem like it's not being completely transparent with the nature that it's being transferred and how serious it is and what the risks are what can you really do other than stay in the house to avoid it you know, obviously uh, some places that figured some things out, China, they think they're back at 85% capacity right now. And if you notice, when you look at them over there, you see everybody with masks and gloves on, make you feel like it's maybe airborne, you know what I mean? So obviously I'm not, a, I'm not an expert, I don't know. I just look at things and see what I see and make observations based off of that. But, you know, just, uh, you don't need to be out right now. You know, obviously don't be out. Don't do anything that you don't need to do. You know, don't take any unnecessary risks. Because until we uh, got a clear understanding of what we're dealing with, then you gotta take all the precautions that you possibly can just to try to avoid putting yourself, you know, your loved ones in danger. Uh, you know, one thing we do know, something's going on and it's, uh, and it's a serious situation. Is yeah, people dying from it. So, you know, who knows, you know, what, what could be going on with, within us individually, you know, that maybe we aren't aware of or anything. So, you just gotta be safe, be smart, you know, don't take any unnecessary risks, you know, try to avoid crowds. You know, if you're still going to work, go to work. Don't make any unnecessary stops. You know those types of things. So just be uh, be wise with your decision making. Be uh, be careful with your own life. You know, because uh, nobody gonna love you like you. So and that's it. I'm just uh, you know, and surprisingly, it's it's cars. You know, everything's supposed to be shut down. There's a whole lot of people working. You know, if you look around. You know, you look, you see, even like behind me, there's people, they out here, you know? And, uh, but shoot, people in D.C., they tried to go to the Cherry Blossom Parade. They had to shut it down. And so people, people are reckless right now, you know? And then you got these people acting crazy, walking around licking stuff and all of this stuff. And like, come on, that don't even make sense if it's not, a pandemic going on you know what i'm saying like who wants to just be randomly putting their mouth on stuff out here in public you know people scratching their butt dig up their nose be touching stuff and you licking it that's just ignorance so hopefully none of y'all out here making those kind of life decisions because uh that ain't that don't make no sense i'm just gonna leave it at that that's don't make sense on any level don't make sense no matter what's going on but yeah you know life is uh pretty much i'm like with everybody else not a lot to do not a lot going on get off work you go home you know might look at some movies or whatever might look at some videos on youtube you know but that's about it get up i'm still blessed to have my same schedule so i get up in the morning early get in get out you know but I was actually like every day I expected to be less cars but I mean it's it's less cars because it's not bumper to bumper right now where I wouldn't be able to move <laughs> so I'm flowing you know at the speed I'm moving at but there's still a lot more people than you would expect especially like the times that I go to work and get off it's not like a regular schedule 
with most people so you you wouldn't think that okay well everybody's just getting off work it's just like people out here they doing whatever they gotta do you know so hopefully everybody was able to find toilet tissue and you know i know hand sanitizer is like gold right now so it's the chances are you may not have been able to find that if you wasn't early with it but uh water all of that stuff you know reach out to loved ones family make sure that if you are able to help them to get anything or do something for them to help them to not have to get out and deal with the uh, public that you do that you know we got to protect our elderly anyone that you know of that's battling any kind of sickness illness disease you know whatever that you try to help them you know and maybe if you just drop it off at their door so that you don't have to create any undue risk and uh let them bring it in themselves you know what i mean spray it with lysol then grab it and bring it in you know those kind of things so just just try to do the best you can do be the best you can be to the people that matter the most you know your family that's all you got they there when you like love them like them or even don't like them well, because y'all may be going through something they still your family they still there so just uh be mindful you know and try to help them because i know it, all of us would hate to see one of our loved ones to uh to get you know ill from this you know if they, and, and especially if there was something we could have done to help uh eliminate that you know so just uh you know just be mindful that's all i can say and i probably said that a hundred times but you know, that's the key word. Be mindful, be smart, be wise in your decision making. You know, help yourself and help others. You know, you, obviously you can't hurt yourself to help someone else because then you're doing your own, yourself and your uh, immediate family a disservice. So you want to, uh, you know, do what you can, but do it with, uh, with your eyes open, with, with understanding, realizing that the risk and where and how to take those risks, you know what I mean? So, obviously you want to minimize, you go in somewhere to give you, you know, grabbing something real quick or whatever, and you see too many people in there, and maybe you want to wait, or if you see somebody coughing, leave the store, don't you? Like, try to avoid where they are, just leave the whole store, because they saying all kind of stuff, how it stays in the air, if somebody coughs and all this, it's, crazy time you know it's a crazy time in the world i don't think that there's been you know we've had different things sars and bubonic plague and you know there's a lot of different things that have happened over the years but to this level to this extent you know it's, it's, it's insane you know and then you think about the times and the technology and the advancements in medicine and uh, everything that you would think that it would seem like things would be able to be dealt with in a more effective and efficient manner but that's obviously not the case because look at what we're dealing with you know what i mean this stuff is uh and they it's everywhere and they they saying that it, they expect like I, what i've heard is that the peak they expect them to be around may or june which is crazy we need to be back you know functioning as a society by then you know people can't live through this without earning income and then the games that they play with passing the stimulus bill and all of this you know and it's crazy because it's the rich that uh it's not an urgency to them because they rich they can they're gonna be all right one way or the other they got the money they can sustain but it's the people that put them in office that's suffering you know so uh yeah this stuff everything is crazy it, it makes you really look at things with clear eyes in times like this and realize that you know we put people vote they put these people in office that don't really have their best interests in heart it's sad to say you know people want to say democrats or republicans it's both sides they they all they don't relate for the most part to the average everyday person because their life is different than the average everyday person's life you know they don't you know how many people getting 
driven and security and you know everywhere they go and you know what I mean it's it's sad that politics are playing a part in the, the decisions of lives you know it's sad and you know I'm obviously like I say I'm blessed because I'm able to go to work but so many people can't go to work you know what about them you know that bothers me just because I'm all right my family my immediate family is all right don't mean that it's not a big deal because you know you don't want to see people suffering and going through all of that unnecessarily especially over politics man it's they need to get it together. We need to really figure out a better way with this political system because we basically choose it from the people that they give us to pick from. We need to pick who we want to pick and put them in there. And I don't know. Obviously, I'm rambling on now because that's not something that's easily done with a, with a system that's been well established for over 100 years. But, true, we people had the power so we got to figure something out so something got to change we can't allow things to continue in the route that they're going because it's not benefiting us the people it's benefiting the few you know everything that they do is a select few that benefits from it so but i didn't talk you all head off enough superstars i just wanted to like i say reach out and uh you know just let you know i'm here i'm all right my family's all right and uh Hopefully every, all of you all are doing okay and you know, you're getting by and things are, you know, being okay, you know, and that you'll get through it. So, uh, I'll be reaching back out. I, I, I think I'm gonna just start reaching out again, even though it's not a lot going on, not too much you can really vlog with or anything right now, but I'm gonna just reach back out and just keep touching bases, you know, just talking to y'all a little bit even during these times even though i know i don't have too many people looking at my videos right now but maybe the one or two or ten or however many people watch it to be somebody that can benefit from it so uh y'all stay safe uh keep your wits about you make wise decisions and uh and i'll see y'all the next one so uh if this did anything for you like it like the video subscribe you know hit that bell notification share it do all of those good things uh, maybe we can help this channel try to start growing There's a lot more people available right now because ain't too much to, to look at on TV so uh, till the next time superstars y'all be safe and I'm out peace